Hi, Mrs. Hampshire here. So today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to um, create the Roman arch in Tinkercad. So you can see I've had a go at it here myself. What you will need to do is click on Learn and Projects. See all projects and scroll down until you find the architectural concepts and you'll see the Roman arch on there anyway. Okay, so there it is. So I'm going to click that. Now here it's telling me that I've completed it because I've had a go at it just to practice. So first thing I'm going to do is restart the project. If at any point that you feel like you need to have another go at it, you can do exactly the same. So, do I want to reset the current progress? Yes. And that's taken me back to the start. So I'm going to click on number one, Roman Arch, and I'm going to press start there. And as you can see, I've got my blank work plane, and I've got my instructions just down the side here. Okay, so the first thing it's going to tell you, it's going to tell you a little bit about arches and why they work. Okay, so make sure you have a read through this information as well, because that's quite informative. I'm not going to do that, because that'll take more time up on the video. So first thing, continue to the next step. Again, read the instructions. It's telling you what shape bricks we need. So we're going to make a trapezoidal brick a keystone, an impost, and an abutment. So first step for making to build the parts of your thing. You need to first of all drag out a triangular roof onto your work plane. Okay. Now I find it easier if you can line it up with the grid. Your grid is set to a one millimeter snap at the moment. Okay, if you need to edit that at one at any point, which we will be doing, we can click on the little arrow there and change that. All right. So first thing we need to do is scale it up along the z-axis to thirty-one point five millimeters. So I do need to edit this snap grid and change it to 0 0.5 and I want to drag this little white square here up until we get to 31.5 just a little bit and that's right okay drag out a box and move it 20 millimeters upward along the edge x-axis. So again I'm going to drag out my box. I want to line it up with the green roof shape. Just like that. I'm going to change it to a hole and then I'm going to drag that up using the little black cone by 20 millimeters. And leaving it there. Okay, and then we're going to select both of those. So I've done that just by dragging a box round, and then I'm going to select the group, and that should have grouped it. Get another go. There we go. So we've got that grouped there, and it's created our trapezoidal keystone that we need to man uh, to build the arch that we're going to do. Click next. Now. At this point we're going to create a new work plane. So we're going to select the work plane here and we are going to drag that so it goes onto the side of the trapezoid like so. Click next. Then you want to find the word work plane on your screen so if you right click and you can see the word work plane so we know we're on the right face of it just there. Okay, we're going to drag another box onto that work plane and line it up as best we can with our trapezoid that we've already got and then we're going to align it to the lowest limit. So I'm going to move our viewpoint to the side a little bit here 
I'm going to select the red box and I'm going to select the green trapezoid. I'm going to click the align tool and I want to click this lowest point here and I'm also going to center them to make sure that they're central to each other. Okay. Click next. Next thing, we need to place another trapezoid in our sequence of bricks. So we're going to set the work plane to the bottom of the box. So you want to move your viewpoint so you can see the underneath of the box here. Grab another work plane and place that onto there. Select your trapezoid that you've already created and copy it and then paste it, excuse me. <coughs> then we're going to mirror it. So I've clicked the mirror part here and we want to look at the arrows. So if I select this arrow, this is the one that we want to use. You can hover over all of them and it shows you how they would look if you were mirroring them, but it's this one here that we need to use. So that's done. I want to then select that and I'm going to use my arrows and I'm going to move that along the work plane until it aligns with <clears throat> the other side of the red block. Like so. And you can just check, see if they're aligned there. And that looks pretty good. Continue to the next step. Set the work plane to the bottom of your new trapezoid. So again, use your view cube, move that around. So our new trapezoid is here on the left hand side. Grab my work plane and I want to place it onto the bottom of that one there. Then we're going to select our original box and our original trapezoid. We're going to group those two. And then we're going to copy them and we're going to paste them. And then we're going to mirror those also again in that direction. Move that along again. Using your arrow tool, you can do this quickly and it keeps it in line. So I'm just using the left arrow tool until that lines up. And that looks pretty okay. So then what I'm going to do, I want to check that it is all aligned up. So I'm going to get it into a position where I can see and I'm going to use my mouse and just see whether it is aligned well. And you can see if you're going closely, I've got some gaps there. So what I'm going to do is select, I'm going to change my grid snap to 0.1 millimeter, and then I'm going to use my arrow tools and I'm just going to carefully move those in until they are touching like so and the same on that side like that I'm going to zoom back out again zoom around or pan around select all and just to check I just want to make sure they're all aligned centrally Along that axis there and you can just check that by panning around it's important that you do that to make sure that it works in the end then go to the next step group all of the objects
and then reset the work plane. Now to do that, if you grab your work plane and drag it into any white space, it will take you back to the original one. Continue to the next step. Then we need to ungroup our parts again and you'll see why in a moment. So that's your ungroup tool. Ungroup all of them. Completely. That shouldn't have happened. So I'm just going to regroup that one. Just take that back down like so. Then we want to ungroup everything but the original keystone. Like that. You want to copy it, paste it, mirror it. and then move it along your work plane. Now, just to make this faster, I'm just gonna change that snap grid to one millimeter and use my right cursor to take that along the grid. Then I'm gonna change it back to 0.1 and I'm gonna zoom in, pan it around just to make sure it is really well matched up. There we go. Okay, and then we can zoom back out again. So that takes us to that position, and then it's asking us to group everything, like so. And move on to the next step. 